What's up, YouTube? Hey, y'all, up with another video. And, um, you know, this one's going to be on, um, if you don't read the Bible, you're probably going to think that, um, this video is, um, just stupid. If you don't read the Bible, that is. Now, <clears throat> when I read the Bible, now I'm, I'm when I read period I'm more of a skim reader. I skim for something, you know. Let's just say I have a bad imagination. And um I like reading books that I can actually take notes. So I'm more of a skim reader, write down what's in the book and you know, that's how I process of what I've read. I don't really, you know, you know, I skim you know everything when when I read the Bible you know when I read the Bible and stuff you know um, I usually go for you know chapters that, that have the most negativity when I read in religion I go for the negativity of the things because they are most of, a lot of them have like real negative stuff but yet they're supposed to be a positive religion you know what I mean now when it comes to reading I'm more of a skim reader um, when I read my philosophy books that's why I love reading you know stuff that are that's like documentary stuff that's realistic that you can actually take notes kind of like like in the format of a textbook you know what I mean like the Bible, for instance, it has scriptures, it has numbers, it has, it's perfect for note taking, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, I love reading stuff like this. And, um, out of all, and I found out what it was, of what I've never seen, because when my friend told me about unicorns in the Bible, I was like, where the hell does it say that? Now, in my Bible, I have... It's known as an ox. It's not known as a unicorn. So I thought he was like bullshitting me. I'm like, there's no such thing as fucking unicorns in the fucking Bible. What are you talking about? <laughs> but there is. And I had no clue, you know. The I, I have uh, New Testaments. And in the New Testament, they're referred to as an ox. As for the Old Testament, I don't own an Old Testament. I have a PDF format of an Old Testament. But I've only highlighted the chapters that I wanted to read. Because I didn't want to read the whole Old Testament. Skim through the whole thing and take notes, you know. Because one, you can't really use the Old Testament when talking to a Christian nowadays anyway. Because they'll just tell you that that's outdated. You can't use that. Jesus updated the Bible. Blah, blah, blah. And so and so. So I, I never, I never really, I do refer to the Old Testament a lot when it first comes off until they tell me I can't refer, I can't refer to scriptures in the Old Testament. I have to go to the Old, I have to go to the New Testament and refer to scriptures. And that's what I usually do. I, I usually spend all my time in the New Testament than um, the Old Testament. But don't get me wrong, the Old Testament is great. I love the Old Testament. Um, that's the original format and I'd prefer to talk to a Christian in the Old Testament context because to me you know when did Jesus come down and say you can't use this you got to update you know you know what I mean but anyway so yes um, unicorns are real um, in the, 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 the Christians perspective and, you know, I remember in school, um, you know, teachers, you know, Christian teachers telling the students that unicorns weren't real, you know, they're fictitious, whatever the fuck, you know. Um, when I read these scriptures and I actually looked them up, um, I was like, you know, I was baffled, you know, I was baffled. Um... Now, the unicorns are, um, I found them in the King James Version, which, um, that's where they're referred to in. And when I found them, I was like, wow. 
because I don't I I don't have a King James version. I used to, but when we moved, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> but I don't care. I had tons of free Bibles in the first place. I mean, the Bible, the, the churches give out those free New Testaments anyway, you know. Um, but you know, I have been going to the stir shop where they have um, a tons of Bibles, and you know, on my on the probably tomorrow, and you know, I might look at the, the see what sales they're doing because they do sales every Saturday, and um, you know, see what Bibles they got there and stuff. But um, yeah, so if you're a Christian, unicorns are real. Now, when a, and I've been told this, you know, where the Christian parents, the Christian family, blah, 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 the Christian people saying, you know, unicorns are real, your Bible says they're real. I mean, you guys believe in a talking snake, so you have to believe in unicorns, too. Um, you know, unicorns are real. And um, I'm going to go into the scriptures where they talk about uh, unicorns. Um in Numbers 23, 22, God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Numbers 24, 8, God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations his enemy and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrow. Job 39, 9. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? Job 39.10 Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow, or will he harrow the valley after thee? Psalms 29.6 He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. Psalms 92.10 but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Deuteronomy 33, 17. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock. And his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to ends of the earth. And they are ten thousands of Ephraim. And they are the thousands of Manasseh. <clears throat> Psalms twenty two twenty one. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. Isaiah, whatever the fuck, thirty four seven. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bull, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. So, as you see, if I were to use those scriptures, they would tell me uh, that's more considered in the Old Testament, not the New Testament. So, they'd probably tell me, can't use those. And plus, in the Bible, um, the New Bible, they're referred to as an ox. Which makes no sense, because when did Jesus come down and tell you it wasn't a unicorn, it was an ox? When the Old Testament is based on realistic things... Um, in a Christian's perspective, who were they? Who are the people who made the New Testament? Who are they to revamp, refurbish the text of the original text? You know what I mean? Who are you to edit that? You know? I just, like when Revelation, Revelation should not be in the Bible. Revelation should not be in the Bible. Revelations was not even in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is the original text. So, Revelations should... A hell shouldn't be there. Hell shouldn't be there. Hell's not in the Old Testament. You know? Jesus didn't come down and say, You can't use this. Add Revelations. Revelations is where there is this thing called hell. <laughs> You know, where the fuck did revelations come from? You know, who the fuck came with up with revelations? It wasn't Jesus. It wasn't God. But yet they say that it was. You know, hell's not there. 
Hell is not there. The Old Testament claims that. Hell is only in the New Testament. In the New Testament, I just look at this as false hypocrisy. Because the old because it's hypocrisy against the Old Testament. I don't remember anywhere in the Old Testament where it says you should edit the context. So the unicorns are real. The unicorns are real in a Christian's context. So next time you hear a Christian telling the little kid unicorns aren't real or something, or you know something to that perspective about unicorns not existing, being non-existent and stuff, um, they are real. And you tell them they're real. Educate them because they obviously don't read the Bible. They obviously don't know the history of Christianity. They don't know the history of the Bible. So the unicorns are real. But referring them to an ox when the old scripture where the things went down where this is the original text they decided to put put an ox instead of a unicorn which makes zero sense a ox is nowhere near related to a unicorn you know nowhere near but um just makes no sense to me you know of how people can Believe the New Testament over the Old Testament. You know, when the Old Testament is the original format. You know? It just makes zero sense. But, like I said, you know, in the, the video about the Bible, you have to keep up with the series in order to stay in the now. Or you're just going to be lost. You know? But, um... No. Yeah, unicorns are nowhere near an ox, that's for sure. I mean, have have people even seen a goddamn ox? Now, you know what's funny, man? All these crazy-ass animals, fictitious animals and whatnot in the Bible, all of them are there, but dinosaurs aren't. <laughs> nowhere does, does it say anything about dinosaurs. The thing that is scientifically proven isn't in the Bible. Is, is that crazy or what? Am I the only one that thinks that's crazy? Because there's no scientific evidence that a unicorn exists. You know? But there's scientific fact of a dinosaur existing, which the dinosaur is not in the Bible. Nowhere to be seen in the Bible. My friend told me about that, and you know, I thought it was weird, too. I just realized I have the anti-motion on. My camera probably look a lot better. Okay, that's anti-motion. Okay, it looks better here. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just some, just some things to think on, you know. How can something that's scientifically proven to, to be existent not be in the Bible? You know, I know that um, they say, you know, uh, that was before Christ's time and whatnot. But what about all these other crazy ass animals like a unicorn, for example? What about a damn talking snake? Was that before our time too? Was that before dinosaurs time too? You know? I don't know. It just really gives you something to think about though. But yeah, next time you see someone who says, tells a little kid that a unicorn is not fictitious, you say, are you a Christian? They'll 99% of the time say, yeah, whether it's a, hip hip a hypocritical Christian or, you know, a real Christian, you know, they'll say, yeah. And then you tell them, you know, in the Bible, it talks about unicorns. If you're a Christian and you follow the Bible, you believe in unicorns, correct? Old Testament or New Testament, who the fuck cares? It's in the fucking history of the damn Bible. In the original context. You heard the, the, the old English terms. Which those those terms don't don't abide in a, a debate or anything. They won't let you use them. They'll just tell you you need to upgrade your scriptures. You need to get the New Testament. Which in the New Testament refers to a unicorn as an ox. Meaning 
You sound stupid saying that 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 that, that it says it was a unicorn. That's why there's a lost chapters of the Bible. They take out all these things after they revamp it. Now in the Old Testament, there's nowhere where it says there's nowhere where it says um God told you to take these chapters out. God told you to to to, to revamp this, re-edit this. You know, there's there's nowhere in the Bible does it say that. Because in the Old Testament it easily states that the Bible is the law of God. And then nowhere says anything to that nature of revamping the word of God. But anyway, I'm going to get off where it gets too dark in my room and you can't see me. So yeah, I'm out. Peace.